What's going on everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at four forage crops and determine what is the best way to store them when using seasons. Unlike in the base game of Farming Simulator 19, crops can rot when they are left uncovered, so let's find out what happens to each one. Today we're going to be storing grass, hay, straw, and silage in two different forms, loose and in bales. We will be leaving some of them out in the open, some undercover, and some in a multi-fruit silo that we've got set up to see which way is the best way, or if they're all the same. You never know. I've built a test facility here on Lone Oak to aid in the experiment, so let's get it started. First up, we are going to be using the Class Arian 460 with the Straumann SEK802 trailer. This is going to give us 4,000 liters of loose, which, coincidentally enough, is the same as the bales. I wanted to do that for a reason. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through grass, hay, straw, and silage. We're gonna be doing loose and bales. First up, we're gonna be getting the loose together. So let's go over, let's get all of that stuff done. I wanted to make sure that you guys knew exactly what we're up to. So we are in seasons right now. Mess that one up, we're in seasons right now. And we have the time set to zero. So nothing should be happening. Nothing should be happening at all. Um, we also have started early spring. This is a brand new game save. There's nothing been on this game save before. What we're going to be doing is we are going to be using this as an overhang for storing the loose uh, covered stuff. And we're going to put a bell right in front of it so we know what is what. So there is that. That is all of our grass. Now... Let's get hay, straw, and silage under there as well. Here's something fun that I just found out. Um, grass, hay, and silage, or grass, hay, and straw, rather. Grass, hay, straw are all free from the buy anything mod when using seasons. Use that information however you need to. So we now have grass, hay, straw, and silage, 4,000 liters of each hanging out covered in the open. We have silage, straw, hay, grass, all in the open. Okay, now we need to get some bales out here. So again, grass, hay, straw, and silage bales. That ought to do. These are the settings that we're going to be using for the test right here. Seasons length, six days, crop moisture's on, snow tracks on, snow mode is on. Of course, all that good stuff. Tell you what, we're going to turn seasons introductions off because I don't want to be bothered with that over and over and over again. Uh, otherwise, normal settings in the game itself. Uh, you can see it here once we get through this weird thing. There we go. Uh, real time right now, we're going to be going into times 480 here in a moment. Economic difficulty normal, traffic on dirt normal, automatic engine start off. None of this should affect it in any way, shape, or form, but uh, there you go. I have turned periodic plowing, lime, and weeds off as well as crop destructions on. Those are standard settings that I put the game on. Should have no issues. Now we are all set up. We have our grass with grass bell, hay with hay bell, straw with straw bell, and silage with wrapped silage bell right there. And then exactly the same, but under cover right here. I did double check. These are good to go. So that is good. Plus, in our little handy dandy silo right here, I've also put... 4,000 liters of each. Now, you could probably assume that that ain't going nowhere. And I still recommend do that. Do everything in loose and put it in there. But if you can't, well, then which way are you going to do it? So you know what we are going to do? We are going to hang out right here. I'm going to put it right on all this stuff. And we're going to see if we could see anything drop down. Let's go into a speedy. After one full day, I can tell you I saw the grass go down right here. What we're going to do is we're going to pop in and we are going to buy ourselves a Wobster. I'm not really sure what you call it in seasons now. It's like an MX something. Um, that's going to be in miscellaneous from tools and it is going to be on the far right hand side. Ooh, almost. 
right here, the MT9. We want that. Yes. So now we're going to go up to here. We're going to take a look at this bell right here and see what it's got. So 3,769 liters in there. So it has gone down. The grass has gone down. What about the hay bale on the outside? The hay bale has not gone down any sitting outside. That is good. That is very good. The straw, same thing. It has stayed the same. And right here, if we go in here, the silage bell there has stayed the same as well. Now, what about the grass bell that's hanging out under here? What about this? 3769. So that hasn't changed any. I can't imagine these have changed any either. Check them out. Nope. Hay's the same. So the grass has gone down. The hay straw and silage has stayed the same on the outside. Well, I would say what about in here? But you could see still have everything at 4,000 liters there. Uh, one thing I am going to do is put up some lights so we can see at night. We're going to put those up. We're going to jump back in. We're going to go through another 24 hours in game. So here we are at the beginning of day three. Let's get a good look and see. Oh man, we lost another thousand liters. Holy cow. I wonder if it'll tell us how much is in this pile right here. Yeah, no. So that's a no. But I imagine that's all going to be rotting too. Let's see. Let's check out right here and see what we get. Still got 4,000 liters of hay. I'm assuming it's going to be the same throughout here. Yep, straws right there as well. And what do we got here? Silage there too. But what if we come over here? Yep, I can see that grass pile's already gone down. That hay bale right there is exactly the same. Or the uh, grass bale, rather. Hay's the same. I'm assuming straws are probably going to be the same as well. Yep, and silage will likely be the same too. So, we're looking good right now. We're actually looking good. Let's go in. Yep, still 4,000 liters of everything. The lights were a little bit bright, though. I will say that. Nonetheless, this is turning out to be a little bit less interesting than I thought. So, let's go through. Unless it rains, we're going to go through now two full days. So, we will see you guys in mid-spring, five out of six days. Well, as you can see, the bell is gone. The grass bell is gone. However, the hay bales remain. And so do the straw bells. And so do the silage bells. Everything seems to be exactly the same. Covered or not. You can see, smaller pile of grass there. And a much smaller pile of grass over here. So much, in fact, that I want to know how much is left. Because I'm really surprised that the bell left before the pile of grass. So we're going to jump in here. <laughs> we have got a very, very, very big bucket on here. This should be able to handle everything. Matter of fact, this should be able to really handle everything. So we're going to go through and we're going to see exactly how much we've got left and how much we've lost. So we've got 2,700 liters of grass in here. 2,701 to be exact. We're going to go ahead and dump this back out. I'm not going to worry about going over and trying to mess with mess with the other stuff because I've got a pretty good feeling it's all the same. So for right now, going through, we are looking good. We're looking very, very good. Um, we are going to do a little bit more fast forward in time and we are going to see if we can get some bad weather. Let's take a look and see if we've got any coming. So let's see. Nothing today. Today is Friday in game, but Saturday, tomorrow, and into next week, we have rain as well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stick this bad boy on a really, really nice time lapse, and we're going to see what happens 
when it rains. Now we're going to back up a little bit for this one right here so you guys can see everything. We're going to go through this one's going to go even faster, so make sure you don't blink. So real quick, while everything is running, you guys may have seen that. The straw pile has gone down. Have we lost anything from the bale? Absolutely. 3,240 liters left in the bale right there. What about the silage bale? I doubt we've lost anything there. Nope. Haven't lost anything there. What about the hay bale? This one I'm most intrigued about, to be honest with you. Yes, some of the hay bale is gone too. Now we've got a great pile right here, so I'm not sure much of the pile is gone. But we have lost some hay and we've lost some straw as well there. One thing I didn't know about, let's double check over here because these piles seem to be doing just fine. Let's double check here. 4,000 liter bale for hay and 4,000 liter bale for straw. So covered when it just rained, no issues whatsoever. Oh, that's big right there. That is very, very big. So let's jump back into the speedy. Well, 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 some stuff has disappeared. Bells are gone. Straw's completely gone. It's not even here anymore. We've got some hay left. We've got a little bit of grass left. Keep in mind, this stuff has lasted in six day seasons for, for what, 12 days? 12 days. Let's check this bell. I imagine it's totally normal. Yep, silage, 4,000 liters. We'll go over here. We'll check these real quick. But I think these are going to be exactly the same. Yep, 4,000 covered. Uh, the piles look great in here, by the way. Uh, all the silage looking good. Hay, straw, grass is still kind of down there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through, after we've been through six months, we're going to double check and see how much stuff we've got. So we have 1,093 liters of grass left. That's not a whole lot. We're going to go over here and we're going to check the hay. Now the hay, I imagine that we're gonna have a lot more hay than you think. I think we're gonna have close to 4,000 liters. I don't know if we're gonna have right at 4,000, but I bet we're gonna have close to it. And wouldn't you know, 3,390 liters of hay. So the hay is doing very well, even after what, three, four rainstorms? We had a nasty rainstorm midsummer, or uh, midsummer, yeah. So there's that. We've got that. Let's go ahead and check the silage as well. This looks like all 4,000 liters of silage, but we're going to test it just in case. Let's come through here. Yep, 4,000 liters of silage. That is everything. Oh, no, we're <laughs> dumping it out the front. And let's double check and see in here. Yep, 4,000 liters of everything. So, yeah, everything's working fine. Silage, you can leave out without problems, no issues whatsoever, and you are going to be totally, totally fine. Let's get that boomed out to about right there and dump it out. I tell you what, I love this telehandler so, so much. So, that is through, what, basically half of a year, six months in real life. So, what we're going to do now is I am not going to do another speedy, but... We are going to fast forward time through, and we're going to go until summer, uh, winter one. So we'll see you guys on winter one to see what has changed. We are in early winter. Three of our piles and bells have gone. However, the silage has stayed true. And guess what? 4,000 liters. What do you expect? Now, I will say this. The grass is almost gone right here. Loose grass. Doesn't matter where you put it, it's gonna get going. But guess what? Covered bales stay. Covered loose stays. No problem whatsoever. Check this out. Dude, 
That's awesome. I love knowing that. I love seeing that. Get out of here, birds. But we're going to complete the cycle. We've got, what, eight more days, six more days? So we're going to go six more days. I'll see you in early spring, but I don't think the anything's going to change. Maybe that pile of grass is going to get gone. Also, if we go over and we check, yep, 4,000 liters of everything still in the silo. And here we are, exactly one year later. The silage left out perfectly fine. Silage belt, perfectly fine. It is... <laughs> We have that much more grass left, but the hay, the straw, the silage covered perfectly fine with the bells to go with them perfectly fine. So what did we learn? Oh yeah, in silo. Of course everything's fine in the silo. Store everything in the silo if you can, but if you can't, don't store anything other than silage outside because it's not going to go well. Rip grass, rip hay. Rip straw. Straw disappeared first. That blew my mind. But what did we learn <laughs> at everything? Silage is good. Everything else is bad outside. Underneath, add hay and straw to the silage and everything's good. Grass, still bad. So what did we learn? Don't store grass ever. But with that knowledge, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. This video took me about three hours to record. So I really appreciate the likes. <laughs> if you learned anything, let me know what that was down in the comment section below. If you knew everything that we talked about today, let me know down there as well. Be like, DJ, I knew this already. You wasted my time. Let me know. I want to know. But with that being said, I hope you have an awesome, wonderful rest of your day. And we will see you later. Peace.